When you're on the actual show, you're not going to have access to a whiteboard. All the producers will give you is a stack of index cards and a Sharpie. I'm going to show you how to use them. Just like we did with wagering strategy, we're going to break this process down into individual two-player games. We'll start with the debut of Russ Schumacher, who went on to win my Tournament of Champions. Here I've written the scores on a card vertically. We start with rule number one. Russ wants to cover an all-in by Katie. If Katie doubles up, she'll have 18,400. So to cover this, and you'll see I left a little room at the top, we subtract, carry the one, Russ should wager 5,600. That's his minimum wager. Now we look at rule number two. What Katie should wager if Russ gets it wrong. 12,800 minus 5,600 is 7,200. 9,200 minus 7,200 means that Katie will have to wager no more than 2,000 to stay above Russ should he get it wrong. So that's her maximum wager. Now we look to see if rule number three applies to either player. The difference between these two scores is 3,600. You'll see that Russ already has to wager more than that, and KD can't wager more than 2,000. So that works for neither player. Now we'll look at this game, and we'll only look at Ken and Julia. I've written them out again. Start with Ken, who needs to cover a double up by Julia. If Julia wagers everything, she'll have 37,200. Ken, therefore, will need to wager 17,200. So that's his minimum wager. Now for Julia. If Ken gets it wrong with that wager, he'll have no more than 2,800. So for Julie to stay above that, 18,600 minus 2,800, she can wager no more than 15,800. So that's her maximum wager against Ken. Now the difference between these two scores is going to be 1,400. So Julia should wager at least that. But let's remember the continuation of rule number three. It's possible that Ken might make that unsafe wager of 1400 so that he doesn't fall below Julia's score. If he were to get it right with that wager, he'd have no more than 21,400. To cover that, Julia would need to wager 2800. That's below her current maximum wager, so 2800 becomes her new minimum. So that's how I calculate wagers for two players. In the next installment, I'll look at three. It's a little more complicated as you might imagine, but it's very doable. Oh, and by the way, that Ken, that was Ken Jennings in his first game. He didn't have too many close ones like that. We'll see you next time on The Final Wager.